Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Corepunk. Today we're going to talk about items. What kind of items can you get in this game? Is it like a cosmetics items? Is it like items that give you stats? You know, what is itemization in this game? So basically when you play this game, you can meet various vendors, you can kill bosses, mobs, that will drop either items for you from questers, from drops, or from crafting. You can even like go into crafting and, and craft different items that will give you stats. But which items and how do you actually activate them slash take them on? If we press H, you will see this is the page where my character is. We can see the PvP rank, my karma, and we can see the items I can put on. These items are purely cosmetics. It's only cosmetics, nothing more. They have zero stats. So I can, I can actually go in here and take this off and now I'm naked. But it gives no stats. I can take it on again, even like put on some shoes. But still, it gives me no stats. Now you're probably thinking, okay, so how do I get a stronger character from, for example, doing dungeon and getting loot? It is from these items down here, which is kind of like an artifact. So you can see down here, here is your weapon slot. You have a weapon already by default, which like you can never like take off your weapon. You always have a default weapon with low stats. Then of course you can get another weapon, you can equip here, and then of course you get another it will of course look differently the weapon and it will of course be stronger if you have a find a stronger weapon but the artifacts are here all these six slots down here and it is exactly the same as if you play dota league of legends you know any moba you have these six slots here where you can buy items from a window in a, a moba the same here this one for example gives me 14 spell power i can right click on it and equip it this one here gives me more attack power this one here gives me more uh, health now you can see I just got like a bunch more health. Also with my stats here, you can see the stats here next to my webcam. You can see here it says 29. If I take off this one here, then you can see it switches down to 24, 29. And then some more mana, 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 more health. And you can see how I just like loses it. So now my character just got like way more health, way more mana, some more attack power for my auto attacks and some more spell power for my spells. You can even see, for example, if I take off my spell power item here, this bomb here now deals 40 magic damage. If I take it off, uh, take it on, it now deals 50. So basically 10 more damage. If I hold down shift, you can see where the damage comes from. It actually passively deals 40 damage, and then it gets 70% from attack power. So because of that additional attack power I got, it, no, sorry, spell power, you can see it says 70% from spell power, then it now deals 10 more damage which is really good and that's why it doesn't deal 14 more damage because it only takes 70 percent from it but this one here actually takes 100 percent, so that's why it deals now 34 damage instead of 20 because it takes 100 percent of the spell power and adds it to the damage and this one over here is taking 50 percent of it and adds it to the damage of the spell power and 60 percent from my weapon damage so basically, this is how your dam your items can your artifacts down here can directly impact how much damage you do, how much healing you do, and also do you want more health? Do you want more mana? Do you want more damage? Like it's up to you. You have to find the perfect items for you. So don't think about like you know how you look and all that. That's cosmetics. That's like something totally different you can find cosmetics all over the game you can buy them you can find them in the open world you can get them from doing pvp pve all that these items down here is what makes you stronger and it's actually pretty cool to see a game where they split it up like cosmetics is one thing damaging stats is another thing it's not very often we see something like this in an mmo i know there is mmo on the markets that of course doesn't do this but it does the same, but you know what I mean. It's in, still kind of like not a very normal thing. So this is pretty much items. This is the items you get. This is the items you can have, like weapons, the six artifacts, your cosmetics. We can't really go into any more of here, like talents, weapon mastery, guilds, statics, and achievements. That's pretty much unlocked. Of course, when we also talk about items, you of course also have items you use in combat. For example, over here, you can see I got um, painkillers, which is basically giving me eight, uh, 18 HP per second. It increased my health regeneration by 18 for 15 seconds, which means if I use one of these bad boys, you can see my health is just getting 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. 
Now you might ask, what about passive health regeneration? Well, yes, there is passive health regeneration in this game if you are above 90% health. So every time you're below 90% health, your, your passive health isn't out. It's done. It's not there. But every time you get up to 90, it will automatically heal from 90 to 100. So, and the same with mana, if you have below 80-90% mana, it will not work it, when you have 90 or over 90, it will automatically go up to 100 again. So, for example, when I quest on this guy, I always try to keep, you know, I do, I use my calculator to find out, okay, how much mana do I need to always be above to keep my 90? Okay, then I only use my spells until I got to 90, then I, when I get out of combat, it goes up again. It's pretty smart. It's like, you know, keep it over 90, so like always get it back. I wouldn't mind if the developers change it to maybe like 80 or 70 or maybe always like automatically you went up to like 50% and then from 50 to 100 you always need to eat. I feel like the 90 one is a bit hard, but um, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. It works fine. I, you can even get like items in the game that gives you more regeneration. So maybe in the end game, I'm going to have some kind of like item giving me 20 spell power, 20 health regeneration, 20 mana regeneration, 20 mana. You know, you can have like more stats on the items. So it might be fine later in the game. But yeah, so basically I have painkillers to give me hate regen uh, health regeneration. I have these mana vials which give me mana regeneration. I have bread which give me health. This one mana again, this one mana. And then you have the campfires, which is basically really smart. So campfires is giving you a passive, like you can see this one here gives me 3.1 health every second, 2.4 mana per second, but it also makes my food 100% better. So if I eat anything now, it would work 100% better. And these campfires is something you learn very, 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 very early in the game by an NPC who is over here. He's like give you the campfire quest and learns you how to make them very fast. And then in crafting, then you can always craft them by having wood and matches. So very useful. You will be sitting a lot at a campfire in this game. And there is a free campfire in the city. There's a campfire over here, which you can always just sit at and, and get full health. That is something that wasn't actually in the playtest in early days, but after we, I think a lot of people said it would be nice if you added a permanent one to the city, they actually added it, which is nice. It's nice they listened to it. So again, thanks for watching everyone. This was a little video by like, you know, items, isomations, consumables. Um, yeah, and if you want to watch me actually play Core Punk, live streaming it on, you can watch, find me all on twitch.tv slash dvalin. D-V-A-L-I-N. Then you can find me over there. I will be live streaming Call Punk. So when the game releases, it comes in early access. I'll be live streaming it like all the time. So feel free to follow me all on Twitch if you want to see some more Call Punk gameplay. But else, thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in Call Punk. Peace out. <laughs>